Hey guys, I wanted to make this post to just uh, briefly discuss golf balls. Uh, one thing that you'll notice about the balls is when you go into overpower, the needle shakes at a certain speed. Depending on what ball you're using is going to change how much the rate of that speed goes. Now, um, Ian McIntosh and I have uh, discovered that there's essentially six different types of balls. Well, five, well, basically five, five cases here. So I have, you know, a special case where the turbo ball, case one, case two, case three, case four. And you'll see that each one of these displays the rate at which it goes from one side of the screen to the other side of the screen. The slower the time, the better the ball in reality because it's that much easier to hit perfect ball. So they're divided into five cases. And this is a post from Golf Clash Notebook. It's found in the announcement section. I wanted to put together this video though, just because I don't know how much longer I'm gonna keep doing this. I'm I'm kind of tired of paying for every ball in the game. You know, I don't I don't I'm not given balls by Playdemic or anything, but we do have every single ball in the game uh, that they've ever put out with uh, the needle speed and its corresponding category. And you'll also see up here just a brief section on tour multiplier. So this would be for tours. So for instance, if I wanted to know how fast, you know, for example, tour 10 is, um, we could take the, these base, these are baseline numbers for essentially, you know, no tour multiplier. One of the things that you'll see is there's a tour multiplier and then there's an adjusted multiplier. I believe the tour multiplier is for their code. It's essentially like an input. They probably input that into whatever their code runs and the output is more closely a calculation computed that actually affects the um, speed of the uh, needle. So, you know, for example, tour 10, you'll see an 18% increase in needle speed from its baseline tour one value, which has no affected multiplier. So, you know, how would that be useful? So for instance, if I was to take the base number, call it, you know, 0.83, for example, and I was to go to Tour 10, which is 18%. If I want an 18% increase, it's an 18% increase on 100%, which is full. Um, so it would be basically 118%. Converted to a decimal is 1.18. So if I was to take the baseline value, 0.83, and divide by 1.18, it would show me what that converted seconds is, and it's going to speed up the needle at that rate. So, you know, 0.83 would probably go to somewhere around maybe 0.75, for example, just as an example. Um, I'm not sure if that's what it is or not, but, um, you know, just running you through how that's computed. Um, it's basically supplemental. You don't need that information for anything, but I just wanted to cover it and let you know that all of these balls are available and can be found on the Golf Clash Notebook Facebook site, um, as well as the Golf Clash Notebook uh, web page as well. So Ian keeps this data up. So if you was if you were to go to the balls and scroll down here, you'll see each ball has the OP needle speed right on the ball as you scroll down, and it also has the statistics of each and every ball. So the display is just a little bit differently on Ian's. What I did was basically made it to where each ball has a certain amount of time that it passes from one side of the screen to the other. Ian converted it to seconds. So instead of, he, he, the way to re read Ian's is basically how many times it does 
passes in one exact second. So all of his is standardized to one second. Mine is standardized to just one side of the screen to the other. So we just basically have two different ways of displaying the data, but they result in the same, you know, overall timing scheme. This is something we spent a lot of time putting together. You know, we've had to buy all the balls to make this happen. And I'm just getting, you know, kind of a little burnt out on doing it. So I at least wanted to make a post just kind of describing this, let you know this resource is out there in multiple places. And, you know, that's how you can go back and reflect on, um, you know, that at a later time if you'd like to see the balls. So good luck out there, guys, and uh, hope you, hopefully you guys can find some good use to this.